y'all i ain't got no hair <laughs> Like, y'all probably forgot, but I can't believe it's been a year since I big chopped my hair. So I washed, conditioned, and deep conditioned my hair. And this is what it's like, no product in it. It's just been washed. It smells so good. I used um, the OGX Coconut Curl Shampoo and Conditioner to wash and shampoo my hair. And then for the first time, I tried Auntie Jackie's Coconut Cream Cocoa Repair. Um, I'm not really focusing, but um, the Cocoa Repair Deep Conditioner to deep condition my hair. Um, it was cool. Um, you know, it's my first time using it, but my hair does look pretty crazy right now so i'm gonna go ahead and do a wash and go and just do it on camera this is probably gonna be like my third wash and go i i don't really wear my hair um out because <laughs> i don't really care for the look because like if y'all don't know i like long hair so um yeah, I don't really like the look and I got rid of the rest of my heat damage in the front. So it's like really, really super duper short. But yeah, so I'm just going to section my hair. I'm going to have a side part. So I just want to part it. Okay, so here's my sections of hair. This is what it looks like. Um, no product. This is the length of it. I'm getting some curls that touch my shoulders. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, cause y'all, y'all, if you don't know where I came from, it's a video, it's a click away. All you gotta do is look at the video to see. But um, yeah, this is this. So what, okay, so what I'm gonna be using to start my hair this is the first time I'm going to be using these three products um, and all together. So I'm going to be using the Aunt Jackie's Buttercream Intensive Moisture Salient. Sealant. This right here. Of course, it'll all be linked down below. So I'm going to be using this. And then I'm going to be using the Curlbox Coconut Curling Jelly by Aunt Jackie's as well. Okay, we keeping it in the family. And then I'm going to be using the Jane Carter Solution Nourish and Shine Restorative Butter. Now, um, this costs a lot, okay? This, this little thing costs a lot, so I have high faith in this. I need this to do something for me. Um, it smells like cologne, like, ugh. if you have a boo, you will want him to smell like this. It smells good, so I like this. Um, I got these, this, hair or whatever from diamond candy tv um she did her, a wash and go with this i really like the way hers turned out and so we're just gonna try it um you know eco styler has been a lot of bash on eco styler lately so i thought let me try a new gel because for my wash and goes i have been using um usually an oil a gel and a moisturizer so um i've been using like shea moisture and i'll use the eco styler um gel the olive oil one or the flaxseed gel um but it causes flakes that that combination caused flakes for me so we're gonna see about this combination right here i'm keeping it all together in the family i i deep conditioned with her you know i got everything so um the gel doesn't really smell like anything okay so i have these right here have this section i'm just gonna part it in half just for the when i'm putting on this buttercream because i'm gonna put it on to big sections 
of hair. So I'm gonna take the better cream and do it. It's not thick, it's like lotion. It's like lotion. So I'm gonna take that. Especially my ends, girl, because these be getting so dry. It's ridiculous. Um, I did detangle and everything in the shower already, so I'm just gonna take this, not my dimming brush, but just this brush, just to rake it through. I don't wanna use my dimming brush because it, it like really, it, for me, it makes my curls shrink up even more than what they're already gonna do. So I don't want that. So I'm doing that with the butter. And then I'm gonna go in with the Curl Boss Curling Jelly by Aunt Jackie's. And I just like part my hair like this. I need to move this over here. I part my hair just like little sections. And then I need this. Yeah, I just part my hair in like little sections. And then I grab some of the gel in my hands. And I just rake it through. Rake it through all my hair. Um, as you can see, my hair stretched out is below my collarbone, <laughs> girl. So for my one year initially, I did want it to get my hair straightened again. I wanted to get it straightened and um, trimmed, but I just decided not to go that route because <laughs> um, I didn't want any heat damage. And I was like, you know, I've seen other other beauty gurus who are curly girls and they don't straighten their hair. They only straighten their hair like once a year. So I, I used I already used that. So I didn't want to do it again. Um and yeah. I don't know if I'm feeling this so far. This hold, it don't seem like it's giving me much of a hold. We gonna see, but we gonna see this trial and error. I guess this is what this whole process is about. Um. So yeah, I just decided not to do that. I don't, I do need to get my hair trimmed though, but I don't know any stylists personally out here who trim like curly hair, and it already takes a lot for me to trust. Um. To trust people with my hair especially since I cut it and I've really been taking care of it like girl bye I ain't just going to anybody because you are not I wish you would like uh huh ready to fight <laughs> like no ma'am so I don't really yeah I don't know unless I learned how to cut it myself but then I don't want to mess up my hair but then it's like I'd rather mess up my hair than for somebody else to mess up my hair so I don't know. So um, I know it's been a while since y'all have saw me. Well, whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just, it's been really hard to create content. I really have not been motivated and it really sucks. And at this point, I'm starting to think that it's a distraction. Okay, so look at my curls. Are you getting into them? Okay, Auntie Jackie, we gonna see what you about, girl. Is she auntie or aunt? She's aunt to y'all, but she may become my auntie, depending on depending on what she do for me. But you can see the curls. Um, yeah, it's just been hard to create content. And like, I'm telling y'all, I have so much footage and stuff that I don't even, I just don't put it out. Cause I don't like it. And I'm not about to put out stuff that I don't like just to, you know, just to stay consistent because I don't know. 
Consistency is definitely my biggest problem when it comes to creating YouTube videos. I, it's, it's just hard. Um, but I'm really trying to like get back in the swing of things and I definitely need a hobby, okay? I need a hobby at this point because your girl is single. I I, <laughs> I need a hobby, okay? Before I start doing stuff, I ain't got no business doing. Getting into stuff. You just That's when you get into stuff when you ain't got nothing to do. Just when you start entertaining people, you ain't got no business entertaining because you ain't got nothing to do. So sis, find you something to do. Um, anyways, so. Yes, that's it. <laughs> okay, Auntie Auntie Jackie is really doing something for me. Uh, Auntie. Hey, Auntie. <laughs> um, I hope that this gel don't have all that other stuff that Eco Styler gel got in it. Because, child, what what I'm supposed to do? Like, dang, can't eat this, can't eat that. Like, what am I supposed to do? This curl is beautiful. It's just clumped together. I could get like the um, the coils if I just, you know, if I do this with it. But then it makes it shorter. So I don't like to do that because I'm trying. I'm trying to get length. You know, as much length as I can get. So I just hope that this combination is good for my hair and that it does not cause any flakes because that's been my problem when it comes to wash and go. Like my curls will look good, but I have flakes. So as you can see, here is my hair. Like you can kind of see the shape of it. And when I, when I originally cut my hair, I cut it in like a heart shape. So it, it was like supposed to go out. So this is how it's growing. Um, I don't know if I like it or not <laughs> right now. It's like a doo -doo -doo. Can you see it? It's like a doo -doo -doo. So yeah, this is one section done. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the other, this back section right here. I finished the back portion of my hair so this is what it's looking like um, I don't want to touch it until it dries so I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the front sections and I'll come back I'm not gonna record because it's literally the same process I'm doing the same thing so I'll come back when it's um, all done and then, um, yeah, when I'm done adding the product in all of my hair. Okay, y'all, so here is my hair with the Aunt Jackie's Curl, Curls and Coils Coconut Cream Recipe Buttercream and her Curls and Coils Coconut Curling Jelly. So, so far, I do love it. My hair is hard. Um, I did this side first, so it's dry, it's drying, and so it's hard, but I definitely do love it. Um, so far, I'm liking how my curls are looking. Um, as you can see, you know, I had a lot of heat damage in the front of my hair. I thought I got rid of most of it, so either uh, these curls are just loose or it's still some heat damage in there. I know I have some heat damage kind of at the top right here that I'm growing out, so these are more loose. Um, than the rest so this is you know this is what it's looking like 
I'm gonna let it dry. When it dries, I do look like a little boy. Um, so I stretch my hair and then fluff it out so it can look like something. Okay, y'all, so I'm back. My hair is dry. I would say it's like 90% dry. It's still like a little wet at the roots in some parts. Um, but here is my hair. I told y'all I look like a boy when my hair is not stretched or um, or like fluffed out, I guess. So these are my curls. I really loved how they came out. I love that there is no, um, there's no flakes or anything. Um, it is very crisp though, it's very crunchy, kind of like french fries. This is a heat damage part. Um, this is heat damage, this is heat damage. Um, so, yeah, it's very crunchy, but I really loved how it turned out. I love how defined my curls are. So I guess to combat that crunch, I'm gonna be using the Jane Carter Solution Nourish and Shine Restorative Butter. Um, this stuff is was expensive. So this is what Diamond Candy did. Um, so I knew I was like suspecting for it to be crunchy because she did say that it was crunchy. So here is my hair y'all, fluffed out, it's soft, it moves. I love the way this came out, it's probably my best wash and go yet, honey, to date. This is my hair, this is where I'm at a year later, post big chop chop. Um, yeah, I never really wear my hair like this out because um, it's just something that I'm not used to, I'm not used to the look. Especially since I cut my hair on this side, I feel like I look like Curly Sue or somebody. I don't know. But. Yeah, this is. This is my hair. <laughs> But yeah, this is this is it. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at QueenKJD and on Twitter at underscore QueenKJD. Be sure to go look at my Big Chop video when I first did it um, so you can actually see the growth. My hair has grown so, so, so much. I am excited to see like what year two will look like. I really think that year three is gonna for real, for real be my year child where I'm flourishing um, with my hair. I just wanna continue to grow it as long and as healthy as it can grow and as I can maintain. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll see y'all in my next.